Hello, and thank you for joining. If you're watching this video, you're interested in using Q ERP to transform your business. Q's online ERP is a powerful suite of tools designed for simplicity, yet flexible enough to work for companies of any size, from the smallest micro-businesses to the global corporations. Today, we're going to focus on getting started using the Q online enterprise resource planning system. Let's jump right in. If you don't have a Q trial account, please visit our website, erp.qglobal.com to sign up for one. After you've signed up for a Q trial account, you'll receive an email with a link to access your personalized Q domain. Click on the link in the email, click sign in at the top of the right part of the screen. Use your email and password to log into your Q system. As you see, this is a main Q module view for a Premium Plus account. Less modules will be shown if you use other packages like the basic or premium one. Based on the access controls you will set later, this main module view will be unique for each of the users in your company as well. Click on the system module icon. We're going to do a company setup, user setup, and implementation setup with this module. First of all, let's set up your company information. Click on the user's drop down menu at the top of the page and then select company from the list. When the next screen loads, either select the company from the list or click the Create button if there isn't a company in the list yet. We'll click on the existing company to edit its details and the company form view will open. Click on the Edit button in the top left to proceed. You can change your company name, add a tagline, complete all of your address details, and even add a company logo here. You might want to set up this information as how you want it to appear in your official documents like requests for quotations or customer invoices, etc. When we're finished adding the company details, we can click Save in the top left. Now that your company details are included in the system, let's click on Users in the drop-down menu and select the Users option from the list, or click on Manage Access Rights in the Active User section. In this view, you can see a list of all of your company's users and add new users to your QU system, as well as delete users. Let me show you how to add a new user to QU. Click Create in the top left. The new user form will appear and we can add our new user's name. Let's say Steve Randman. And an email address, stevelandman at qglobal.com. Now let's scroll down to the application section on the Access Rights tab. In this section, you can customize the level of access that this user will have to each of your Q modules. If your user is an administrator or manager, they should have access to every module as a manager. But if the new user is a salesperson, they should not have access to your accounting, recruitment, payroll, etc. If the user is given access rights of settings in the administrator field, they can access and change the profiles for different users as well as change their passwords or send password reset emails to them. When you've updated these fields, you can move to the next tabs on the form view. The O Authentication tab and the Calendar tab are for key technical settings. Please do not make any changes to these tabs. In the Preferences tab, you can change the language and the time zone for this user. You can also set a default email signature for all key system emails from this user. In the Point of Sale tab, you can set a barcode and security pin associated with the user to allow them to access the Point of Sale system key by scanning a barcode and entering a PIN. When you have completed setting up your new user, click Save at the top of the page. Click on Users to return to the Users List view. Finally, go to the Implementation section we have here to start inputting data into the system. You then need to go over each and every module under this section. Again, here's what appears on a Premium Plus account. For those of you who sign up for a basic account, you won't be able to see the barcode, project, and website ones. First, click on Accounting and go through all the tabs listed on the right-hand side. You might want to read the instructions for each tab as they are very clear and easy to follow. For example, in a welcome note here, you will see a list of all information you need to prepare beforehand in order to set up the accounting module. Then, get started with your company information. You should click on the blue arrow button next to each field to edit information as you want. The actual mechanism of this action is to redirect you to the right module where you need to edit the information. For instance, if you want to edit payment terms, click on Review Terms. Here's a small tip for you. Click the right mouse button 
and choose Open a new tab. It will lead you to the payment term sections under Accounting Module where you can create new payment terms or edit existing ones. Or when you want to edit legal name, logo, address, tax ID, or main currency, you will, go, you will be directed to the company's section under the Systems Module. You can always go directly to these modules and edit the information anytime you want later. Once finished, click Save. Close the new tab and go back to the previous one to continue with your setting. Mark as done when you finish each section and then go to the next step. Go over the list from top to bottom. <clears throat> okay, great. Now you know how to do it. Let's go through another example together. This time, we will set up inventory. Again, read the welcome note to get a better understanding of QERP's inventory function. Then continue to start with the very top section to the bottom one. Please pay attention to this one, your vendor. Here you will have two options to either create a vendor manually or import data in bulk. If your company has massive data of vendors or any other kinds of data like customers and products, our system allows you to import information using CSVs or Excel file. We have another tutorial video to guide you on this. At any stage, you could always visit our YouTube channel to watch tutorial videos related to the only parts that you're interested in. Please see links to all available videos in the description below. You will do similarly to other modules like expenses, sales, projects, etc. below. I've just shown you the first steps in setting up a company using Q Online ERP. We've learned how to edit your company details, add and configure new users, and start inputting data into the system. Thanks for watching. We hope that you enjoy the session. If you have any other questions about how to use Q Online ERP, please send us an email at training at q.com. That's T R A I N I N G at K I U.com. Thank you.